How's it going, everyone? Maryland here. That's right, it is time for another day in Benchton. Oh yeah, that is right. So let's go ahead and load up and we'll see what on earth is going on. Some of you may already kind of see a certain something. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Uh, Mayor Devin, someone new has moved into town today. I'm sure getting an official welcome from the mayor will be just the thing to help them settle in. Yeah. So, Panchetti. Panchetti the Poisonous, as I call her. <laughs> yeah, she infected Benchton, <laughs> unfortunately. My goodness, why do I have so many gifts? I guess I had a lot of villagers over. I know Mott, he was all sick and everything, but he's not anymore. Hi, Pico, what's going on? Don't you ever want to... No! No! No, I don't. No. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. We've been over this before. We've been over this before, Pico. You can't go. Yeah, so... Panchetti. Panchetti the Poisonous, um, <laughs> because she just infected my town. She showed up in Waffles. I talked about this before. Where are you running, huh? I talked about this before, and yeah, she ended up here, unfortunately. I didn't get Sally. I didn't get Gladys. I got Panchetti. <laughs> I didn't even talk to her when she moved in to Waffles because she planted her house right in front of my steps going down to the beach. It was so obnoxious. Whatever, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, yeah, so, Panchetti. <laughs> Seven, is that you? We meet again. I swear I never talked to her. Wait. No, actually. You know what? Why she's saying that? I think she showed up once in an igloo in Benchton. I was like, no. Okay, that makes a little more sense. But I know I didn't talk to her over in uh, Waffles. I would have had more common sense than that. Uh, I don't know. I really, I just, I don't like her. I'm sorry. I, it just, it really does a number on you. When a villager moves in and destroys something like, you know, precious roses or flowers, or if they're in a really bad location, like, that's just the worst. So, at least the bright side about this, um, yeah, I mean, this isn't actually a bad location at all. It's rather convenient. It's out of the way. It's not really an issue. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um... So, I mean, it could have been worse, but she's not at all one of my favorite villagers. Now, over here, I set down my, uh, my golden can, because I know I talked about that in the last episode, but I didn't really get, um, I didn't really, uh, get around to changing it over to this character, because I have two now. What are you doing? You're sitting on the boot! <laughs> hey, pal! How's it going? <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> oh, there's some good bonding right there. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Klaus. Am I your knight in shining armor? <laughs> he looks pretty happy. Hey there, don't be shy. Come and sit next to me. I just did. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, I gotta go. That, that was pretty great, though. Um, alright, so yeah, up to three of these blue pansies, and that's really good. I don't remember what I need in order to get the, I think it's the purple pansies that I need to get next. But, yeah, that is still really cool. I love the look of those. Um, so, uh, cool guy, I spent the last of my pocket money on a dapper tea. <laughs> then I found something that I want even more, and I'm all out of bells. It was even more dapper. Um, sure, I'll buy your dapper tea. It sounds so dapper. How can you go wrong with a dapper tea? Really? Oh, man. Okay, so... 
Great. Um, let's see what this thing is all about. It better look really dapper. That that doesn't look dapper at all. I am disappointed with that. Oh, I should probably check all these letters, huh? Okay, so from Mitzi. Um, yeah, she was over over the weekend. Thanks for letting me see your collection of rare things the other day. This little gift isn't very impressive, but I wanted to send you a thank you gift. I'm intrigued, Mitzi. Okay. Let's see. Uh, an office desk. Okay, get to work. <laughs> um, from Patty. I think she was over too. I I don't. I don't remember. Uh, my trendy pal Devin, in my own fave collection, I found the perfect thing for you. Like it? Of course you do. Let's go out and establish ourselves as the top fashion superstars in town. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what Patty had to send. A dazed tea. <laughs> I'm so dazed. And then from Mott. Yeah, he was sick, and it looks like, uh, looks like his cold's already gone. That's wonderful. To the best sports doc ever. My cold's already gone. Now I can get back to lifting thousands of pounds, pulling off quadruple backflips, and dominating martial arts tournaments. So thanks, muscular leers, Mott. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we helped him out with his cold. He's feeling better. That's always a good thing. And we got a great tartan shirt. And Filbert. Um, Devin, this is a little embarrassing, so I decided to tell you in a letter. Don't freak out, okay? The other day, you had something stuck to your head. It was a dandelion. <laughs> Messenger Filbert. Really? I, I don't think there's any dandelions growing right now, pal. Maybe you were... Wow, why am I getting all these really not all that great shirts? Oh, that looks like the shirt that Hopper has. Huh, okay. Well, I'm still wearing armor. But I, I don't know. I kind of want to change again. I really have not done very much for inventory, man. <laughs> Look at you just sitting there, chilling. All right, all right. Let's let's get out of here and talk to some villagers. See what's going on. Yeah. So Panchetti. <laughs> let's go back to Panchetti. Um, I guess. I kind of see her... Oh, look. Is this like the rage now? Is, is the gray tartan shirt in? Yeah, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm supposed to be wearing this. I think I'll wear this. Because it seems like that's what all the cool kids are wearing. Oh, I forgot I had that haircut. Hey, <laughs> nice shirt. How's it ranking? Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, how does my outfit look? <laughs> it looks great. I'd say we're pretty stylish right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, um, yeah, I, I guess in my little world, in my mind for Benchton, I kind of imagine Pancetti being like, I don't know, sort of like a witch or something, like maybe Lucy's evil sister or something, I don't know, but... I definitely know that the nickname I have dubbed upon her is Panchetti the Poisonous. Um, I really want to replace your milk case. How many times do you replace your milk case? Seems like you replace that thing an awful lot. How about an office desk? Actually, you know what? In thinking about that, that is not the same size at all. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so that's the nickname I'm going to call her. But, you know... Rather than just mistreat her and try to shoo her out, I'm not going to do that. I'll try to talk to her like she's reasonable. Um, yeah, there's a fishing tourney. And looks like all items from 4 p.m. are half price. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so I'm not going to just ignore her. I'm not going to be mean. But... I don't really like her right now. <laughs> and you know what? I kind of thought the same about Mott when he moved in. Because I was, I was really upset because he's not Gladys. But he's kind of grown on me now. He's not that bad. Okay, I need to get some better clothes. That's what I need. So let's drop by the Able Sisters first. Because I want something that goes with this tartan shirt that everyone's wearing these days. So, yeah. 
<laughs> it's like, I know I've seen this like five million times. Oh, uh, not a lot of options, really. Blue polka shorts. Probably a little chilly for that, huh? <laughs> I look like I'm in my boxers or something. What the heck? Fine, I'll wear my underpants. <laughs> That's what it looks like. All right, let's see. Bear costume pants. Well, I've already had those, so I don't really need those. All right. Um, and that is a pretty cool pink thing. The This outfit. Let's see. I don't want to wear it here, though. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, it is cold. That I need to get some better pants. That's what I need to do. That is what I need to do. Oh, um... What? I don't even know if any of this would look good. So I think I'm... I, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I don't really know what I need for, like, clothes to match this. So I guess I'll just kind of look around, although, man, these shorts. <laughs> these shorts are cold. Oh, okay. Let's, um... Let's see what we have in here. Oh my goodness, there's some polka dot boots. I could go all polka dot. Oh, I'm wearing armor shoes that are made out of armor. But I think I should buy some tasseled loafers. Sounds great. I'm going to try them on. Oh, they feel great. I want to wear them out, man. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. I guess we could wear some argyle socks i think that's how you say that i don't really know actually but i'm getting them uh because am i wearing socks i yeah i don't think i was wearing socks well at least i'm a little warmer now okay so i think what i need to do is um i need to sell some stuff but maybe gracie has some pants that look nice i don't know I doubt it. I think all she has right now are like the animal print kinds. But we'll see. Maybe there's something that stands out. Alright. Um, oh yeah, that time special. That's pretty cool. I guess you could say I'm just in time for it. Alright, do I need armor stuff? I really can buy the armor anytime I want it. I don't really need it again. Like, you know, I don't really like to wear clothes too often. So I'm just, I'm going to get rid of it all. I don't need the office desk. Uh, yeah, actually, that looks good. You know, one, um, one advantage of selling to these guys is they won't buy any of your, like, valuable items, whereas, um, retail does. So, that's pretty nice. I mean, it's kind of a, a good safety precaution, if anything. Because otherwise, you know, you might accidentally sell something. So, yeah. Oh, look at that bench! Oh, that's a nice bench. I gave that bench to someone. Ooh, what should we give to Mitzi? You know what? I bet you this chair would look really good in her place. Or this, uh, actually, how about this? Tangerine chair. Let's get a tangerine chair. They sure are selling a lot of chairs, my goodness. Alright, well let's see what they have upstairs. Could use some warmer pants. Ooh, this would look pretty nice with the shorts, but... Oh my goodness, these zebra striped pants? <laughs> Alright, must try on. Oh my goodness, actually that looks pretty hip. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll wear it to go. I didn't actually think it would look good, but it, it actually kind of looks good with the, the shirt I'm wearing. That's kind of nice. All right, cool. Okay, so, um, I need a hat or something. Like, I don't know, there weren't really any good options. And I didn't really see anything there that I wanted to go with it. I could always look through... Um, my other stuff, and that'd be fine, but, yeah, let's see. So, I guess, 
I guess I should just, uh, well, yeah, I got most of my stuff sold. Oh, haircut. That's right. Let's get a haircut. You know what? I got this one kind of for Christmas, but Christmas is kind of over. So I think I'm going to get a new haircut. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I don't know what I want. I just, I want something random. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do a hairstyle here. Sure, that's fine. Okay, um, you know what? I think I want to go with something like mid-formal. I don't really know what I'm looking for specifically. I'm not looking it up or anything. Um, different degrees. I do look it up if I want a specific hairstyle. Right now I don't. I just want to change. So, uh, I want something for, how about private occasions? That sounds good. Um, party with lots of people or is it a date? Um, it's a party. All right, so we need a hair color. Let's see, um, what do we have here? A moody color. I don't remember what a moody color is, actually. I, I don't remember. Well, let's just go for that. All right. Oh my goodness, what the heck happened? <laughs> Moody's purple? Oh, I was hoping it was like a gray or something. Wow, I look... <laughs> I look, um... Quite moody, I guess we'll go with. Oh my goodness, why, why so purple? That was unexpected. Okay, um... <laughs> my darn purple hair! Oh, well, at least they got it under control. I guess that's a good thing, but I feel like I feel like I need to wear a hood or something um, just to cover it up. All right, let me go get that red hood. I guess it's times like this that you really need it. I mean, for women, I don't care right now. All right, let me try it on. I think this is an emergency. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't look very good with that. All right, what about this, though? Needs more cowbell. It's made for men. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, let's do that. It looks great with my zebra pants. I think I'll keep that on. Okay, great. Um, okay, yeah. That's... Awesome. Okay, so let's let's get out of here, and we're just gonna go for that. Oh my goodness, it does look like trunks. <laughs> That's right. That uh, it's so much like that. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Let's see. So I oh, that's right. I was supposed to get something. Um, what was it? I was supposed to get an item. It's like a one by one item, I think. Well, let's see what they have for sale over here. Otherwise, no, I got a chair, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. I, I picked up the tangerine chair for the milk case. All right. I was just, I was going crazy. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's give that to Mitzi then. And see what she thinks. Oh, looks like Lucy's home too. Oh, oh, Pinky. Pink, Pinky. Hey, Pinky, what's going on? So I came up with an idea to increase the lovability of our humble town of Benchton. Yes! Yes, the metal bench! Oh, you're the best, Pinky! <laughs> Great idea, right? I love you, pandas! <laughs> okay, there we go. It's happening. It's happening. It is happening! The metal bench. Oh, man. 
Oh man, that is so exciting! I need this! Oh, that's so exciting! Okay, okay. Oh man, okay, calm down. Calm down, Devin. Calm down. It's, it's a bench. It's a really metal bench. How metal is this metal bench, though? Let's find out. Just remembered. Oh, we never celebrated that. Oh, sure, let's go ahead and celebrate. <laughs> I totally forgot what the last project I did was, but that's right, it was that bridge. I like that bridge, even though it means we're not gonna- Oh my goodness, there's so many animals on this. <laughs> Hopefully it, uh, it can withstand all of us. Alright, on to the next project, like, stat. <laughs> that's a cool picture. Alright. There we go. Awesome. All right, that concludes the ceremony. Wonderful. Oh man, metal bench. What a great way to start the week. That is, that's really good. Oh, Mitzi, I needed to talk to you, didn't I? Lovely weather. I guess it kind of is, huh? All right, here, take this tangerine chair. <laughs> Don't need to watch, everyone. Oh, a tangerine chair is exactly what I needed. All right, and, uh, oh, okay, some wallpaper. Great, I don't really need that. Oh, Pinky, you're the best. Where did Klaus go? Oh, he's fishing. You go, buddy. Catch the big one! All right, <laughs> let's go get that bench. Oh, now the problem with this bench is, <sighs> I, I think I need to tear down another bench because I know exactly kind of where I want to put it. And I know exactly kind of is like contradictory, but whatever. Um, it is exactly kind of. Because I know where I want it, but I think I'm going to have to demolish a bench and move it over first. Oh, uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, we need this thing. We need this right now. Okay, but the problem is... I think I'm going to need to tear down another bench. And just to make it kind of centered and everything. You'll see what I mean in a moment. I did talk about this, I don't know, a few weeks back. So I have these benches here, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to have another pathway leading up and then have the metal bench like right here, let's say, or up here, or something. Um, so this one here, I think, would need to be moved off to the side. I might be able to move that one instead, but I think this one will make it just a little bit nicer. Oh, although, yeah, that'll... Oh, that's tough. I mean, it's very well aligned here. Well, maybe I can find another place to put these, but basically, in a nutshell, I want it so these two benches here are four apart instead of three apart. So let's see where I can even put it. All right, so close to the modern bench. I think maybe if we try it from here. Come on, don't be shy. Don't, don't be shy. All right, there we go. Let's try this. I think it's going to knock down those black roses, but let's just take a look. Um, yeah. Oh, that looks fine. That looks really nice. Okay, so before I build it, I obviously want to take my black roses. Let's not smash those. Um, but yeah, that's where it'll go, and it'll look pretty nice. Okay, so let's just, uh, I'll just hold on to them for right now. Yeah, but that's definitely where I would want it, because I don't think I can really put it anywhere else. Um, it's also really kind of central to a whole bunch of different ones. In fact, maybe I should knock down the fairy tale bench and kind of swap those two. So I have the modern bench here. I have that kind of... Um, well, I want to build this thing like now. But what I'm trying to say is, okay, this bench here. 
So have this be a metal bench instead. So that's like modern and then metal. And then back here we have the fairy tale bench because I like the look of that. I, I think it would look nicer with like that kind of a view, but I, I don't know, whatever. You know what? You know what? I can always tear down benches and rebuild them. And you know, even though I hate the look of the yellow bench, now that we have a really good assortment of benches, I think I should build the yellow bench again. Because, you know, now it really is part of the collection. I don't want it anywhere near here, though, but I definitely want to consider that. So, yeah, that's, that's so good. That's exciting. Pico, how dare you want to move away? How dare you? All right. Yeah, she shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Sometimes sitting on our town's fairy tale bench while I read helps me to concentrate. I just finished a book called Embracing the Future without once getting distracted. Embrace the future! Yeah, um... Okay, let's drop these black roses down here. Alright, uh, good enough. Good enough, good enough. So, I should probably pay that thing off. I think it was like, what, 40 some odd thousand? What's going on? How's it going, bears? <laughs> I feel like I'm being attacked. I know it's an unreasonable request, but there's something I just got to have, Dumpling. Please, can you get me? Oh, not another flipping string fish. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we'll get you the string fish. Ah. Uh gonna be such a pain. I've had to catch so many of these too. Alright, well I might have to do that off camera just because they can be kind of rare to find. Uh, I think I want to give something to Mitzi. Why? Because I'm shy. Can't you tell Cupcake? You shy? Okay, I'll give this to Mitzi. Sure. <laughs> Let's go find her. Uh, I need to find that string fish anyway. Oh, and I need to pay this off. Let me do that really quick so I don't forget. Oh yeah, I have just enough. Alright, let's go ahead and pay all that off. Pretty cheap bench, really. Or at least a cheap project, that's good. Alright, Mitzi slash Stringfish, where are you? Alright, here we go. Here, I got a delivery. It's from your secret admirer. <laughs> All right, here you go. Let's open it up. A shirt, a sunset tank. I'm going to try it on right now. Oh, sure, whatever, I don't care. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Actually, it doesn't. <laughs> Please take my mango. <laughs> oh, thanks. I was hungry for some mango. Okay. Oh, stringfish. I mean, at least it isn't Mitzi asking for another stringfish. Like, that, oh, that just gets aggravating. All right, wrong bear. Let's see. Where is... Where did Klaus even go? I want to tell him that the delivery was successful. Uh, well, there's Filbert. Oh, wait, there's... There they are. Hey. <laughs> I'm a real pro. Alright, I delivered it. <laughs> I better go see her later then. Right? Okay, have fun. Alright, alright. So... Oh, man. Oh, they're talking! They're talking! Mm, yeah. Hey, cool guy. Hey now, Filbert. Don't you know it's rude to yawn at someone in the middle of a conversation? Mmm, but I'm so sleepy, cowboy. Oh, I've got an idea. They say yawning is contagious. Let's try an experiment. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not gonna yawn just because you... Yeah. Oh, man. How many of you are yawning right now? How many? <sighs> How many of you just yawn, huh? <laughs> Great. Filbert, hanging out with you is bad for my image. Oh, poor Klaus. I don't feel like I can trust anyone right now, so I need to be alone. Oh, all that over a yawn. Way to go, Filbert. 
you jerk. <laughs> that was really rude. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta find that string fish. Ah! Okay, let's see if I can find that stinker before I have to go. I mean, I kind of have to go, but, you know. If you ever are requested to find a string fish, even though it's a hassle, it's a good thing to do because it's one of the best things that you can do to raise your villagers' happiness. Same goes for, like, sharks or other rare fish. It's just a pain, darn it. It's a pain. Okay, where is this thing? It can be tricky to find. It is a little... Oh, they're talking now. You're pretty trendy, right? Does that mean you like trendy food, too? Totally, I just love trying new restaurants. Or exciting new restaurants. And I bet you'll have... I bet you know lots of creative new recipes. You'll have to share some with me. Oh, um, sure, whatevs. <laughs> Great, I've been thinking about a few twists on classic recipes, but I need a second opinion. When you make mashed potatoes, do you use buttermilk or cream? And use sauteed turnip greens or steam them for a few minutes, with or without paprika. Uh... <laughs> and you just gotta share any tips you have for cheddar apple pie. Well, I'm not good at making any of that stuff. The only thing I'm good at is making baked potatoes. Well, making baked potatoes isn't easy. Sometimes, um, sometimes they explode in the oven. <laughs> okay. Uh, remind me not to have baked potatoes at your place. Man, everyone's so chatty tonight. Two conversations in just like a minute or two. Looks like Klaus is feeling a little better. He got over himself. Wait, did... Oh, I thought that was a big fish, but nope. It was not. Go away. Run away. Oh, man. <laughs> Why do I always have to find string fish so late? Ugh, it's such a pain. They're just quite rare. It's easiest if you try to scare away all the other fish. At least they're pretty easy to spot. Hey, what's up, buddy? I've been kind of obsessed with getting this all. Okay, sure, why not? Obviously, Filbert does not know um, money management. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. All right, fine. Block my path. That's totally cool, man. Oh, I don't need either of those. What I should do is I should just get my net out and use that. Because scaring away the fish is a nice touch because then I think it would spawn new fish instead. What? Out of the way, pal. Yeah, get out of there. Okay, I'll just, I'll wait another minute or so. But then I gotta go. I got some stuff I gotta do before, oh. I don't think, I don't think you're the fish I'm looking for. You look a little too small. But there is something else you can do with fish. You can actually throw them in to scare away other fish, so it's not that bad. You know what, just go away, <laughs> whatever. I think that one was too small anyway. I don't know what to think about Mitzi in that sunset tank. It doesn't quite match but whatever whatever um all right i'm gonna do one more round up the river here if i don't see the string fish i'll just have to try and get where are you running off to <laughs> she's running away <laughs> okay bye don't crush the flowers um yeah but if i don't find it you know what i'll just i'll try to find it afterwards excuse me Oh my goodness, why are there so many villagers, <laughs> like, in this small area? It's crazy. Uh, no, you're not a string fish! Go away! And you're not. And, yeah, I think that pretty much does it. Alright, let me just get back to my house, and then... The heck? Oh! <laughs> Darn it, I, I, you know what, I don't feel like waiting that long. I don't feel like waiting that long. I could actually get to it, but, eh, whatever. Okay, so, 
My goodness, it's like a swarm. It's like a herd. <sighs> All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf Benchton Adventures. Aw, oh, yeah. See you next time, Panchetti the Poisonous. Ugh.